Hey guys, Portia here and I just received my latest sublimation trim box from Johnson Plastic Plus. This is a monthly subscription and I am always excited to see what's in the box. So let's go ahead and get it on open. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna start with our little cheat sheet as I call it. It shows us everything that's in the box, but I don't like to look at it unless I don't understand or know what it is that I'm looking at. So. Let's check it out here. So we know that this is going to be a tumbler because it's tumbler size and shape. So this is going to be a shimmer tumbler. I have worked with these tumblers in the past and I really like how the design comes out. So this is a pale color. Sublimation is still gonna work over this, but it's going to create a shimmer that comes through whatever image you decide to choose. So yeah, this is always fun to work with and next out the box we have an oven mitt so this one is kind of cool because we immediately get a black and white design so all of this area is going to definitely be sublimatable we flip it over we have a textured heat resistant part of the mitt oh guys oh it feel good from the inside wait i wasn't expecting that so we have like a little, I don't know, plush inside. So it's actually really comfortable. It definitely feels like a pair of mittens, not a oven mitt. But yeah, this side is sublimatable as well as this. And then we have our heat resistant textured side. So this would be uh, really cute to put whatever you like on it. Now let's check this out. We have two of them and it says photo jewelry. So let's go ahead and Take a look at it. So we have a little frame here and it comes with a piece that we would be able to sublimate, say a photo on if we wanted to, or a saying or just an image of say a heart or something like that. And then we'd be able to stick it there. So this creates a little cute charm bracelet and I certainly am a bracelet person. So I think that is adorable. All right guys, and we have two coasters here. So these are square sublimation coasters and they are made out of ceramic and they each come with a backing. So it's cork backing so you can sit it on the glass table and not worry about scratching it up. So I really like sublimating on ceramic as well as glass, but um, you have to be careful. The first time I did sublimation on ceramic, it was definitely a fail because I did not have enough pressure and I did not take the image down um, very good. So it created some ghosting. So make sure you follow the directions on these because they are definitely fun to work it with, but disappointing if your image does not sublimate well. Okay, and we have, I believe, this is gonna be keychains. So we have two keychains here. And I like these because these are pretty big. So we have a lot of space to work with. Sometimes you think about keychains, it's like this big. But with this one, we have a lot of space to work with. So the front and the back is sublimatable. And I always love how an image comes through when it has a texture of the wood um, as the background. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Here we have a baby bib. So one side is fleece and this side, which of course is the outside, is sublimatable. So honestly, we could lay this whole thing on our heat platen or if you're using a um, hand press machine, you could sublimate the entire thing and personalize it with the baby's name or you know anything that's special to the couple that's having a kid. Um, so yeah, you got a lot of area to work with there. Always love a box within a box. What is this? This kind of is it a tape measure? Oh, guys, I know what this is. This is a ID badge holder. But the interesting thing about this is it's bigger than what I'm used to seeing. So you are not gonna lose this. Usually you're not gonna lose it because you have something hanging from it. But in addition to that, this is pretty big. But I like this. This. It's a really interesting design. Like I said, I'm used to it being like literally much smaller, like the size of a quarter. But yeah, this will work. And of course, this is the sublimatable side. 
let's see here. So anytime I see the ribbon, I know we are talking ornaments. Alright, so we have four ornaments in this package. Let's look at it a little bit more. If I can get it open. Okay, and the material here is acrylic. So there is a protective layer here. So make sure you remove that protective layer before you sublimate. Because it ain't gonna work out if you don't do that. Uh, believe you me, I've done it before. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. But yeah, just make sure you remove that layer. Um, the great thing about using the acrylic is, especially if you're hanging these and you put them in front of the light, it's going to shine through and enhance your image even more. So I really think that that is a good design. And last but not least, we have ourselves a tote bag, guys. Now, the thing that makes this tote bag special, if I can get it out the package, is that it is giving off a mermaid shimmer. I don't know how well the camera is picking that up, but wow, y'all, the bling. So I say mermaid shimmer because I can see pinks and blues and purple. Of course, I got silver coming through. Is it green in there? So this is really nice and I always love a large area to sublimate on and this is absolutely going to give us that because both sides are going to be sublimatable. Alright guys, this is all I have for you today. I just want to share with you all everything that came in my latest sublimation trim box from Johnson Plastic Plus. If you have any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. If you found this video helpful or just plain old entertaining, could you go ahead and give it a thumbs up? But as always, until next time, peace.